One of Terraria's strongest bosses has finally returned, and that is Ekdev. Just take a look at the health bar. Can some of the strongest weapons in modern Terraria defeat it? Let's find out. The god of Terraria is back, aka previously known as one of the strongest Terraria bosses. That is right, our beautiful Ekdev is back. Look at him. Look at that health. That is insane. What number is that? I don't even know what number is that. Is that billion? Million? Trillion? I don't even know. But our prince that was promised is back for 1.4 finally the mod is updated and i have assembled a handful of weapons here hopefully i'm not forgetting any but these were the ones that came to mind we got some op weapons that of course we're gonna test on ek death will ek death survive will it live let's see first off let's just show how scary he is where is he dude was so scary he killed me with his damn mind as you can see though when you die with ek death it doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing on you just get straight up turned into a ghost so you have to leave the world and rejoin it okay this time ek death is actually gonna spawn in this is like two three days later the mod was actually broken let's do it first weapon we got going against ek death is the black hole tome if you guys haven't seen my video about this a while back it's a black hole and as soon as things reach the center, they either get insta-killed or they take a lot of damage. Let me just, um, let's just put it to normal for now. I don't think Ek Death is affected by difficulties. But let's put the game mode to normal. Let's bring out, like, the golem. And let's see what happens. Oh my god, look at that. He's getting sucked in. I wonder how it would feel to get hit by this. Would it be a pleasant type of sucking or a bad type of sucking? If there even is a bad type of sucking. Let's get to it. Ek Death versus the Black Hole Tome. I'm kind of scared. We got to make sure we gap him so he can't get near us. Oh my God, he almost took a bite out of us. Come on, kill him. Please kill him. Because if he gets loose, it's going to be over for me. He's got to be in the center, right? His health is just ticking out slowly. Uh oh phase two as you can see he's growing his size is kind of scary because if he touches me bro it's over i'm dead and he's gonna infinitely grow until i'm either dead or the screen is covered oh my god and just like that our first weapon came to play the black hole tome i might need to do a whole video about this because there's been a minute since i've seen it or used it but now we get to the tome of greater manipulation can ek death survive a classic i don't remember if ek oh i missed the grab <laughs> I don't know where Ek Death's hitbox is, so it kind of makes it hard to grab. There we go. And now, ready? I'm going to press right click, and it should just die. It's taking two damage. This is not the Greater Tome that I know. The Greater Tome I know would kill it. Actually, I don't even remember if the Greater Tome killed it in the past. I might have to actually watch my own video. But I'm just going to accept this as an L and just, just die again, sadly. Okay, I watched the original video and Ek Death did actually die to the right click from the Greater Tome. But we're moving on to the Serious Punch from the One Punch mod. Now, this thing kind of takes a minute to kill bosses. Let's bring in the Golem again. He's going to be our test subject, but watch this. We covered this weapon before, I think, a while back. And as you can see, it charges up. And then after a while, boom, completely decimates what's in front of it. Oh my God, why is it going again? Now, the only problem is I have to run away from Ek Death while this is chasing me or while it's charging up i mean so this could be a little tough let's do it right away right away as fast as i can oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god please <laughs> we're gonna need a little bit more speed y'all okay attempt two at this serious punch i have the omega core on which this should allow me to easily gap ek death as you can see oh my god look at this i'm moving right now but ek death is also moving it should be a straight punch yes sir you love to see it another w for the weapons so let me split these up into l's and w sorry greater tone you just you took the l you gotta you gotta be on the right side moving on to the ultimate fist i don't remember how this works how does this work Oh, okay. I think we did a video about this too a while back. This is from the juice mod. And does it even insta kill a C? Okay. Yeah, it does. The only problem is I have to launch myself into Act Death. But let's try it. I'm charged up. And here we go. 
back to the main menu for me the next two that we have are the Xena toilet and the true Xena toilet I've done a video on both of these I'm pretty sure as you can see this true one is insane it even drops my frame rate sometimes and then the regular one we just kind of swing like a sword now let's see if these can beat Ek death I'm kind of scared of using this one okay this one is not working and I'll be right back and now let's do the true Xena toilet here we go come on I expect this one to actually catch a w yes sir so this one was greatness and this one was shitty we're getting down to the nitty gritty my character's like flashing but yeah we're getting down to the last three here one of them is like a random calamity weapon i picked up <laughs> i just went to the weapons and i went all the way to the bottom and i just picked it randomly and the other is the gauntlet come on if you are an og game raiders fan and been watching for a while or just know the game raiders lore history whatever you know that this gauntlet's got some power for example let's bring in a couple of bosses here i snap the gauntlet boom half of them are gone and of course it does damage to the user i don't even think that killed half of them i think that that honestly killed me more than it killed half of them well actually i think it killed the first phase of the golem but let's bring in ek death ek death also does have two phases so this may or may not work let's see this answers the question of can thanos beat ek death let's find out absolutely the hell not okay the good thing about using the gauntlet was i killed myself instead of ek death killing me but the only problem is uh i kind of tore a hole through the map because ek death was alive for like a split second <laughs> But yeah now we got the universe splitter this thing summons an energy field at the mouse cursor after the field has been deployed it begins to summon multiple small beams after several seconds an enormous beam appears this is pretty much like the hammer of dawn from gears of war or if you want another example the euclid sea finder from fallout new vegas that's what i'm assuming it's like or pretty much just the orbital strike now i have no idea how this is gonna work should i just like start it up and then we bring in ek death after let, let me just see how it works okay let's just see how it works so it does six beams and then it does a final big one then we have to wait for a little bit of a cool down that's fine so oh this is gonna be hard wait no i got it we use this and then we use the tome to hit ek death with it it does say it does like 20k damage if we round up so i don't know if this is gonna be enough this i don't even think this would kill calamity bosses it does 20k damage okay it's a developer item so obviously you can't get your hands on it let's look at an average calamity boss health bar late game calamity boss 350,000. <laughs> so i don't even know if this thing would kill a regular calamity boss but let's do it boom bring it in boom bring in act death and hold them steady right there And it did absolutely nothing. Wow, thanks a lot, Orbital Strike. Get his ass out of here. Oh, I thought I could throw him. We are down to our final weapon, which is the Noxus Sprayer. This thing is pretty high tier in terms of killing terrarium bosses. I also did a video with this and it kind of demolished damn near everything. You want a good example? Yarn. Look at the health bar. Gone just literally vanished so i really don't expect ek death to win against this and the winning is on the lower side as you can see three of them have won five of them have lost ek death can you defeat one of the greatest terraria weapons ever let's see absolutely not amazing noxus sprayer as always doing great now i'm gonna pull out weapon x if you guys know about the og video you know that weapon x deals with a little bit of sand and all we gotta do is get ek death into phase two and once we get it into phase two we put it underneath some sand now this is gonna be hard we have to do let's do it with the black hole tome honestly it might be easier so we put it boom down here get the black hole tome and now we put it in the sand like this and once it enters phase two it should insta kill itself here we go it's not insta killing oh so it's a little bit awkward because that was supposed to be my weapon x but yeah that was ek death returning aka one of the original strongest bosses ever obviously there's been a lot of time since ek death came out and i did the original video so ek death might not be the strongest boss anymore it might be something like the nameless deity nightmare plantera there's a there's a couple of dudes up there a couple of beasts up there that you could put as the greatest boss ever strongest boss ever whatever you want to call it but i still love and respect ek death shout out to the mod developer that updated it make sure 
sure to check out the mod. It's fun seeing Ek Death back again. Maybe we can bring back Cantorio Boss to survive once again. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to leave some OP weapons in the comment section. Also, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss any future videos. I do have a Twitch where I stream live Terraria and other games all the time. Twitch.tv slash Gamers101. Same thing with the second channel where I post those live streams. And the second channel is just called Gamers Live. So if you miss a stream, head on over there. Or if you just need gamers content in the background while you study or do something else, head on over there. I will be seeing y'all in the next video though. Have a good one.